Hey guys, welcome back to another video on this channel. Today we're checking out both the SEX 24s I have. So we got you may on me on. No, I've shown the first one off, but they have changed a lot. At least this one has. Um, I bought this one recently. Well, like not recently, but like a few months ago. And it is pretty nice rig, Gladiator. You know, long wheelbase. So got C10 here, and I'm gonna take this battery off, and we're gonna look at the Gladiator first since it has the least amount of ochres. So the Gladiator is actually in the blue. I think it looks really good. I took the back cover off. Planning on getting another body for this thing with black fen or painted black fenders, and then also this the hard top piece is black. So I think that would look pretty good, and that would be like. The way I have this body set up right now is basically how it would look. And then this body would be covered, would have all the rack. This would be a super scale body. Uh, me, probably not full interior. Um, right now we're running some RC4 drive BFGs, KM3s, with steel stamp bead locks. Six lug. Trio servo arm. With stock servo without the uh, servo saver on it. Just took the spring out. Pretty easy job to do. All the way around. Cam 3s. Pretty nice setup. It is on the wider stance for the steel stamp bead locks. But it performs really good like this. To be honest. Like stock bumper, stock. Planning on getting Bauhaus. Uh, battery relocation will hopefully work for this thing. Um, inner fenders, maybe a drop bed because I think that would be cool for the super scale body. Um, a new bumper, I think a rear bumper will still leave, would leave stock, but the front bumper does need to be upgraded from stock since it's just basic axial. Um, this truck actually isn't planning on to be brass heavy like the other truck is. Or anything crazy, it's just gonna be the scale ish spectrum stuff. Spell scale ish spectrum rather than full performance rig. Well, these are gonna be the performance wheels and tires that'll run on it. Um, performance body won't have the rack or anything on it. Scale body will be like this with the rack, drop bed, maybe you know, a couple cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Um, and a set of RC4 drive uh, breaker wheels, 1.0s, with probably some Falcon Wild Peaks, because I think that would look pretty damn good. Um, it is stock. I mean, it is fairly stock. I mean, really, servo arm uh, and wheels and tires are like main visible upgrade to this thing. You know, it does technically have different springs, but I don't really count that as an upgrade because it's really double bill springs, but that are the softest ones possible that I could do. But it's really basic truck. I think a drop bed would look really nice on this thing. Just take, put the stock mount on because I have actually put the C10 ones on. And then I could drop it nicely. Velcro still, lights fully functioning. Pretty nice rig, to be honest. Let's get the C10 now. So the C10, or what's left of it. Last time I had it on a Jeep body, I still have my C10 body, but it is insanely chopped. Running full droop in the front, a little bit of spring in the back. Um, ESC is probably gonna sit like right about here. And I will cut these whenever I get my cliffhanger body. But right now, it's just, you know, cut how it is. Pretty wide. Nice. I haven't tested it yet, but it should be pretty nice slider setup as custom plastic ones. Um, trio wheels with Enjora mud terrain tires. Enjora uh, steering link, skid plate, deadbolt rear links, and C10 front links. Still wide link setup. Um. Double bolt drive shaft in the rear, stock one in the front, Jura chassis, Fury Tech Chameleon Moto motor. 
right here. Probably gonna go with a Fugitech brushless setup. Eco Power Servo. It is honestly a really nice rig. It's definitely the comp orientated rig. You know, it has a skinny rear end, which is stock hexes. And then this is just the brass trio plus five millimeters right here. Well, it's pretty nice setup. Sometimes I run it with plus five millimeters in the back and sometimes I don't. I mean, it is performing really nicely for how it is. And, you know, we're gonna get these things on test drive though. Real quick, because this thing is a lot more basic, got a lot more upgrades to it, and but you know, I can explain it a lot faster. Plus, you guys, this, guys have seen it before. Full length rear, yeah, pretty nice setup. Basically, like a black and red setup as well. I was going for it's pretty freaking nice for this. Let's get on a test drive at least. Or at least a little blip around here. Okay, so now we got the Gladiator all turned on. And this is why I'm keeping this stock servo. is because it's like really fast for what it is. It might not have like a lot of torque. But at least like for regular driving, for like trail use, I can have that. That super fast servo. Since... I don't really feel like, I'm just gonna, you know, upgrade this thing when it needs it. Like, I'm not gonna do it for no reason. It's a pretty nice rig. All the lights still work. You know. Basic little rig, but fun to drive around. I'm gonna drive around just, you know, my desk. Mm, it does flex pretty nicely. You can kind of see under. Right um, really nice truck, to be honest. I really do like the performance of this. With every with the mods I've done, still stock motor, stock ESC, stock servo. So I mean, some sometimes your electronics will fail. Like I mean, on my S C my C10 servo died in a few months, but I was also putting a lot more weight to it compared to. You know, just these wheels and, you know, light use, not mud slingers with heavy wheels. But, you know, let's get the C10 for a little bit of a test drive. You know, things a little weird. Okay, so now we got the uh, C10 started up, and as you can see, this does have a lot more power to it, but it ain't as fast. I mean, it's not as fast. I might get a little bit of spring in the front just to have it, but it's in low right now because if I put it in high, one ESC starts, you know, making noise because I don't know, I don't know why to be honest. And then high, I gotta be chilling like that the whole time. A turn mode. Pretty nice. Plenty of power to pull the old Yeah, it doesn't needs a little bit of right here start it up magner set tires up again 
I'll see how she does in the Not unless this isn't like a professional course or anything, but it's just what I got around me right now. I've got four of these swampers. Okay. ESC is really annoying. I don't know if you guys can hear it. It is a nice beast. The little bit longer wheel is, it actually does help. High clearance links, because, like, you guys see the droop of this thing? It is, like, perfect dead on with the high clearance parts. Because, like, flat and goes down. Flat and goes down. Even though with this, it kind of does, you know sit lower have that little bit lower stance but to be honest really nice race and just the uh, uh, sit up yeah I'm gonna just get both the trucks here we're gonna do the outro okay so my final thoughts on my STX 24 builds is that they are really good I do really love them Radiator was definitely a good choice of rig to do, even for scale or performance. But I don't really expect to go crazy with this thing. C10 gonna be full expensive comp build. Probably gonna go with some plus five millimeter or four millimeter axles themselves. Uh, maybe keep it a little bit narrower rear end and a wider front end. But like to be honest, I really do think setups I have on these are really good. This does about a 60 degree hill climb. This does about 56 I think. Side hill is, I mean this is LCG comp-ish build. So hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I guess see you guys in the next one. Peace out.